Hi guys, so I'm back with my Easter happenings and I just wanted to show you first of all how I organised my papers. I just left those ones out. So I've got all my little labelly things in here. I haven't put my ephemera anywhere that I've made. I haven't made much. Um, I've got all of these sort of postcards and bits of doilies and bits and pieces in this envelope. Uh, put all the fussy cuts in here. They're not all fussy cut out, but... Oh, when I was making those kits, it was a couple of years now, um, I, I printed out so many because I was trying to figure out the sizing of them all. Um, here I've just got um, leftover bits and pieces of papers. Um, here I've got tags and journal cards, but I don't have any journal cards, I think, in there at all because I need to... Oh, I've got a few fussy cuts in there. That I, I got sick of cutting them. Let's put those at the back. I really printed out a, a ridiculous amount, but they're all oh, more fussy cuts. I told you I printed out a ridiculous amount of them. They'll last me for like 20 years. Put those at the back. Oh, gosh. Yes. Oh, that's them. Okay, and then these are the tags, the new tags and the journal cards that I need to make up. Um, I probably need to print out the old ones. I don't have those anymore. Um, and then here are some pieces of uh, journal paper. That I haven't used yet, but I can use those. Um, what am I trying to say? I can use them to create things with. So, what I think I might do, I need to create a whole lot. I need to make everything basically. I don't think I've got anything available, like ready to go in the in the journals that I'm making. Uh, this is. Oh, I did pull out some stuff here that I might use in this video. So, um, this is probably for Sandra. I just need to go and stitch around it. Um, I think she wanted one like that. And there's two signatures, and I haven't stitched them in yet. And then this is the other one here. And everything is stitched in now, so I need to just do something there. And there's some lovely old papers in there and everything. And then, um, see, I've stitched one of these in that we made previously. This is one of the ones, the hinged ones, the hinge pages that I did. But it's got three three signatures, this one. So I need to start making stuff to go in them. And they should, if I get them finished before I go, then they should be spoken for. Um, okay, so I've got these collage pages that I had made with you guys quite a while ago. Um, just the big sheet, like what, with, um, what we learned from Carol Laws to do the big long sheet. And they're plain on one side and I cut them up. So I thought we can make some journal cards with those. And, well, let's just start with the, the plain papers first. Not the plain papers, the, the semi-used papers. And use those up. But because the work's been done on the back, we can then just glue these on the reverse side and, and see what we get. Like this one I could glue on and then do some collaging. But I need to do my collaging first on that one. So I think I would, uh, let's tear it down. And did I cut, is that crooked? That is crooked. Let's get the cutter. Now it's straight. Um, I'll just trim a bit more because I feel like it's going to be a very big journal card. Okay, flip it over. Let's take the bottom off these. This. Okay, and I might have some of this paper, I think. And let's just see. We just need a strip. Okay, 
Okay. But I'm also going to need a lot of pockets as well. So I can even turn some of these into pockets. They're a bit big. So um, I'm just going to do this. I could even wrap that around. Let's just tear that. I think I will because that'll add that little bit of lace there. We'll just add that sense of little sense of texture. Hopefully the light's okay. It's a bit dark today. Just slide it into place. Okay, oh, I like that. Sometimes we just have to make some things that are a little bit faster. Still pretty, but faster. Okay, I like that. That's a nice big journal card. Okay, right. So let me just check my journals. Okay, I'm going to make this one. I think they're all crooked. make the, I better keep my it still looks crooked to me oh my goodness how would I manage that now is this straight yes okay that's better I'm gonna make this one into a side tuck so I'm gonna embellish on here and then make it a side tuck that in there try not to get into such a mess I have this embroidery that one I wanted to fussy cut out that could be cute and I can keep this bit here to go on the back of something bring the basket over When you remove the bulk, it makes it a bit easier. I'll just snip that little bit off. I think it's fun sometimes to cut out the embroideries, fussy cut them.
see. But not on that one. I would prefer different colours behind it. Unless I were to add, I could add some blue behind it. Needs a bit more colour. See, that's already better, but I think I want a different on a different background, that one. I might add a bit of this just to add a pop of something. And these were just in my to-do basket to, you know, to be completed. Just put that back over there go there and let's see in this one what I have oldies but goodies so that's new I could put that one on there or I could tear this instead of making it into a postcard I could put that on I'll put that there. And what facies do I have? Might add a little something, little little facie would might be nice. Oh, I love that one. I'm gonna have to do some more. This one. down there up there I think okay and make my punch will be like a side tuck somewhere to show you now on one of these pages not that one maybe put it there like that and then it would be a side tuck I love that maybe on that side Sometimes I like to have the, the opening facing, I like it there, facing on the that way so it's easier because if it's facing in here, it's a bit harder because you'll be crashing into the, cent the, the spine. But I really like that there, so that's good. So I might do another one of those. And we're just using these faces. And again, um, where's my cutter? It's a bit, oh, that's, oh see, that's going to be really pretty on there. 
but I need to trim it down a bit because it's crooked. I'll use this as my edge. That's better. Now, where's my... I, think I am going to glue this on there. We need a little bit of book page behind there, maybe. Where did I put all my book page? Here we go. Maybe not that much. Maybe a little piece. There. A little piece of book page right there. Get rid of that. That's sticky. So soft and pretty. Now, oh, we just have to have a piece of this somewhere down there. Oh, we're going to run out. like gold okay and then I want to put a little something up here punch it out here and I'm going to snip the corners off as well. Okay, I've got some more. So with this one, I'm thinking I need to make some corner pockets and I'm thinking I might snip it, you know, cut it down. I'll get two Maybe like that. Oh yes, that's going to be good. Let's just check that it was straight to start off with. That bit there is straight. Oops, I'm going to trim it down just to make sure I don't have the sleepiness that I had before. And the others, and I do. Because somehow I just did everything. I might have cut it down with my big cutter and sometimes I go crooked with that one. Now here, I'm going to put it like this. And get two pockets. Let's just see how wide. Oh yeah, that's going to be all right. But I might not want it that deep, so I'm going to take a little bit off. Okay. Okay, so what will we put on these? Don't need any of that. Okay. Move the fascias over there. Now 
Now I do have plenty of bits and pieces flying around here, but do I want to use those? Oh, this is so cute. I wonder if this would fit. up. No, I won't put it there. I'm going to put that on a different pocket. Okay. It was covering up too much. I might just rip this off though. I could use that somewhere. Just adding a little bit of interest here and there on the plain background. Background, yeah. just going to get rid of these they're kind of sticky all over and they're annoying me so just take those and then where's my I need to see here I have some that have that is really cute Oh, that is so sweet. I'm going to put that there or now on this one. Okay, and that one will be done. And I'm just going to cut off this bit there. Maybe that little bit there as well. Okay. I don't think these will go on there. That one. There's there. I need to go here to the glossy cutting section. Just pulling out a few bits that have already been cut. Ooh, that might be cute. Okay. Definitely need a little bit more of something happening in the background. That's too big. I do like them. I think I'm going to put some. Put some blue in the background. wanted to see this bird or those chicks.
Okay, I think I might like the bird. I do. I like the bird on there. I'm going to put the bird there. <coughs> Oh gosh, look at the beak. Always do that. I didn't stick that down very well, so I just cut that off. Now, I think that'll do. Okay, what's next? I did pull out a whole lot of things here. I think I might turn that one into a journal card. Let's just check how crooked it is. It is really good to do these um, collage pages. I do them with colourful backgrounds. I do them sometimes with just with book page. I do um, the plain side. When I get lots of scraps, I do the, this plainer side. And um, and then just put them in your to-do box. And then you can use them to make um, journal cards and tags and things. So I flip that over and I'm thinking this is going to be lovely on there. And I might just put... I'm going to have a bit of gap there, so I think I'll put this behind. So, yep, I'm going to glue that on. Wait a minute, it's getting lumpy. Some of these um, glue pages, I just put them aside and then they dry and then I use them again. So then they get lumpy and then I decide I'm not going to use them as a base for anything because they've got chunks of glue on them. I'm going to put this behind just because that piece of paper didn't completely cover it. It is going to become quite thick. And then this I'm just going to tear it a little bit. a bit more of this off let's see yeah take a bit more of that off oh there's Perugino he looks grumpy I wonder how they did that in the 1400s their self self-portrait I guess they did I wonder if they were looking at themselves in the mirror and doing their self-portrait there's a question for you how did they do their self-portraits oh I love this one okay and this on there there no nowhere okay let's trim our corners Wouldn't that be cute added there on the reverse side? Now, for some reason, when I when I made these fussy cutting kits, for some reason I was convinced I needed to have my, I you know what it was, because they you know they're from the early nineteen hundreds. I was thinking of the Victorian fussy cutting little figures, and I was convinced that these had this is on um, copy paper, but I was convinced they had to be printed on um, cardstock. I don't because I to get the look, but actually, with on the cardstock they came out 
much more um, less well defined than what those Victorian ones are and what they are in the file so then I I now print them on just on um, copy paper because it prints better I think there's some sort of treatment on my cardstock like it's not kind of rough it's really smooth and so I I just think it doesn't um, uh, soak in the, the ink as much as the this poor more porous sort of copy paper does really cute okay oh, I love that I'm looking at it thinking I don't want to cover that up I'll leave that one I don't know what I want to do with that one I do love this one This one I might make into some sort of, just thinking, will I cut it in half and make a little pocket? Oh, wouldn't that be cute on there? I'm going to cut it. I'm going to make a small pocket. Two small pockets we're going to make. Maybe we'll make a small little journal card. There, a little journal card to go in a little pocket. And here I'm going to glue this on there, and I found a home for it. A sticky. Oh, yes, I love that. There we go. It's done. Okay, cool. I like that one. And then we've got this one. And this one I'm going to make into a little journal card. And so that'll be the writing side, and this side will be the decorated side. And I'm just going to have a look. I'm going to make this one, I'm going to tear down. This one I'm going to make into, I think, I'll have to rip up a bit. A side tuck. And that will simply just glue down onto a page. I'm not going to rip that off because I'll fold it. I may have to tear it down further. It depends how tall my page is. But it's semi-prepared. And that I'm just going to fold like so. And glue that. And that is ready to go. the job at hand which is this little taggy thing that I'm going to make and 
this beautiful paper that we did. That, glue that on there. I might just, maybe I won't glue on that one anymore. I might just close it up and use it to make something. Okay, so we are making things, we say things with our collage masterboard, but one that I made quite a long time ago. And what's behind that is actually an antique. Um, I hit the jackpot when I found those. Um, it's an antique piece of um, tapestry that I have. And I scanned it and I put that behind and I really like it. What do I want to put on here? quite hit though I might have to snip his ear so no I might put him let's just see what other ones I have in here Oh my goodness, did I print out so many copies. Okay. I prefer it up there, no, down here.
going to cut the tag shape. And at the top, I might put, here's my circle punch. I'm going to punch two circles out of this one, I think. Okay, I like that little tag. That's cute. Okay, so how long have I been doing this for? I don't know. 42 minutes. Okay, I think that's enough. I've worked in my, my to-do box. So we'll just recap. I did quite a bit today. I'm a bit quiet because I've done many videos. And you'll know, you, you, um, I should be in Australia, as you, as you know, by the time this video goes up. So... That's why. So I've, I've done multiple videos today. So that's going to be a side tuck. I'll just show you how that will work. Grab the journal. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't cover up that page, but for example, you glue it around three sides and then you get a nice side tuck. I might decide to put it on... That I need to glue down. You know, I could decide to put it on that page or I could put it on the straw paper. Um, I could put it on that page, trim it down a little bit and put it on there and have that figure building up. Um, put it here. Even there would be nice. So that's what I... Oh, I've already got it in this journal, so maybe I would put it in another one, in the other one that I'm doing. So I wouldn't put. try not to put the same... Sometimes I, I can't see for looking... And I do accidentally put the same thing in, but I try not to. Anyway, that's the side tuck thing. Um, love that cute little pocket. The other half of that one I turned into a little tag, because I'm sure there'll be a little pocket somewhere where I need to put a little tag. Um, then turn this one into a big journal card. One of these big... I think I took... Yeah, I just cut them into four sort of things, so they're quite big. Um, I'd made two little corner pockets. This is a side tuck. This is also a side tuck going the other way. And then another big journal card. So a few more sessions like this. Well, quite a few sessions and I'll, I'll, I'll get there. I won't do it all on camera. Um, but I hope you enjoyed that and uh, having a great time. And I will see you again soon. Bye.